Adults who are married. What small things that you do make your marriage stronger? I've always made it my policy not to complain to others about anything my husband that mildly annoys me. If something is bothering me, I tell him. He does the same. I feel like people have a tendency to down their spouse during vent sessions, and while venting isn't bad, it can breed additional discontent. Oh, my husband does this to dot 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 blah blah blah. I do not compare my marriage to others. So and so's husband does this dot 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 dot. Okay. Finally, we send each other funny stuff all the time. We love to laugh. It could be the dumbest thing to anyone else, but to us, it is just happiness. I laugh at my husband's jokes. They are, at the very least, amusing. So I always give him a chuckle. I could not. I guess, but it's such an easy thing to do, and it makes the other person feel good. Hell, laughter makes everyone feel good, including myself. So laugh when your significant other says something funny. As many have said on this thread, we don't put each other down, raise our voices, or call each other names. I think once that begins to happen, the relationship just never recovers. I grew up with parents like that, and I swore that I would never be in that type of relationship. Flirt, a lot. I never want my spouse to feel unattractive or like he doesn't deserve attention, especially as we get older or have been together for longer. Even if it's not always meant in a let's have sex now way, it always gets a giggle and it makes him feel good about himself, especially when I flirt with him in public. Lol. Even when went through a rough patch, I never stopped hitting him with a "How you doing?" and don't be afraid to act. Like you like each other in front of other people, it isn't cool to only compliment or be affectionate with your spouse behind closed doors. It's corny, it is old timey, but doing the workshop on getting the love you want was absolutely central to us staying together and figuring things out. There is no shortcut here. It takes a lot of practice, and it teaches you how to listen and how to have total empathy for the other person, and get to the core root of the issue. Often, this means going back to childhood needs that were neglected and missed. And now you have an awesome opportunity to have your partner heal that. It can only make you both closer and appreciate each other a ton more. And yes, amazing sex after compliments. We give each other compliments on everyday work. This kitchen looks so clean. This compliment always makes my day. Scrambled eggs are so yummy. This pasta is amazing. This curry is awesome. Dot dot. The dining is clean. Thanks for the coffee, babe. I was thinking of getting up and make one. I like what you did with laundry. This face mask made your skin shining. You look cute in this top. I forgot to load dishwasher. Was busy somewhere. That's okay. We will do it now. Etc. Dot 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 dot. We try to give compliments on daily things. This way, we both feel appreciated. We always say thank you and show gratitude, even for the small things that I expected. We never involve anyone else in our relationship. No parents. No friends. We often ask each other questions like, "How are you feeling?" Or how did you sleep? We do most things together, even the meaningless things like going to get the mail and going to the grocery store. We share our hobbies. We have all the same hobbies, and it's so much fun. We always show each other casual, small acts of affection, random kiss, random hug, random but slap. My husband usually wakes up before me, but every day after he wakes up, washes up, brushes his teeth. And prepares breakfast. He comes to bed to cuddle, kiss, and tell me he loves me. There hasn't been a day when he hasn't done this. Additionally, whenever one of us comes home and the other is already inside, we always ring the doorbell and hug each other at the door. Another practice we follow is disconnecting from the world once a week and talking about the week, discussing important events, future goals and plans. We don't keep score. If a chore needs done, it gets done. It doesn't matter who does it, and the other always says thank you for doing it. We pay for things as and when they need paid. 
and we check in with each other to make sure we both still have money in our accounts throughout the month. It doesn't matter who pays for what seeing as the one who outlives the other will end up with the whole lot anyway. We love each other. We want the other to have a nice life and we'll do what we can to make that happen. Communicating the way we need to and we are feeling tense. Me by text, him in quiet spaces with full chances to speak his thoughts without interruption. And every day, for the past 17 years, he has stopped every night at 9.15 on the dot to sing a silly little song to me and check on me. On a bad day, he'll rub my shoulders or bring me some tea. On a good day, we will poke each other and be silly. The point is that he makes sure I know he thinks about me every single day even if it's just for a few minutes. We go to bed together pretty much every night unless one of us is out with friends individually or out of town or whatever reason. We hug a lot for no reason other than just passing each other. I try to think of something every day that will make her smile. Maybe it's as simple as just making her coffee. Maybe it's sometimes brining flowers for no reason. There are so many little things we can do for our partners. And we grab each other's butt. That might be the real key to success. Tamins, us prepping the meals and stocking the fridge without having to ask. Him getting me my favourite meal without having to ask. And me leaving little love notes and a chocolate piece in his tiffin. Dene is acting cute and playful. Really shows love in the smallest of things. We have a two-word mantra that we use with each other same team. Sing it about 20 years ago. It was a game changer whatever decisions we make. Crises we have to deal with. Parenting issues we run into. We always start from that same place we are on the same team. It creates a roll up your sleeves. Link arms and go type response for us. Marry 28 years. Still on the same team. Oh. And sex on a pre-established schedule as well. That's a whole different story. When we look, we see. When we hear, we listen. Okay, that's a little woo, but basically we've both done personal work around codependency and non-violent communication. We've been to couples counselling with the goal of learning and practising better communication. And we just really get the long, zero yelling zero nitpicking criticism. I finally learned enough to say, I have a request, and trust that her response won't be a mushering cloud of rage like my former wife. We kiss a lot when we go to bed every night. We make out for several minutes. Sometimes it leads to more, but it always keeps us feeling connected. We thank each other for all the little things. It keeps each of us feeling seen and appreciated. We try to show interest in each other's lives. My husband has a sport he does that I genuinely dislike. However, I show a little bit of interest in his participation. It is minimal effort on my part and he likes to talk about it. Never assume the other just knows what you want. This is to fold one be clear with what you want and how something makes you feel. To assume that whatever they are doing is what they thought you would like or at least wouldn't bother you. Obviously, there are relationships and situations that this might not be true, but if both of you always assume the other thought, at worst, what they were doing wouldn't bother you. You will have conversations and not fights. Being best friends was helpful. You can literally just hang out and enjoy each other's company. Even with three teenagers, we find time to just hang out with each other. You'll talk about the kids and work inevitable but you're also just spending time together. That being also need to spend time apart. Girls night out, guys golf trip. It's learning to balance. If someone is trying to unbalance it, then you need to talk about that right away. My go-to is just being present, be there, do my part. We have typical pink and blue jobs around the house, but those are few and mostly based on ability. There's no decided splitting of tasks or jobs. No hiding financials 100 shared. When we engage, we do so fully. Pay attention to each other and generally make each other feel appreciated and wanted. I engage in her interests, she engages in mine. We support each other efforts and back each other 100. Chores. Nothing makes me feel more like I have an equal partner than facing the daily burdens together. Cap later than me. Do the laundry when it's needed without waiting for me to tell you. 
and for heaven's sake please don't wait until I have to ask the mental load is real people. Please look it up. We have a gratitude ritual. At the end of every day, we take a minute and appreciate one thing the other person did. There's a whole pile of tiny things people do for each other that end up feeling expected to exit your job to do the dishes since I did the cooking, etc. The moment of gratitude gives a chance to recognize those small things too. It feels reassuring to know that they're noticed and appreciated, not expected. Push in my chair when I get up from the table. It's not a huge deal. Kind of silly, actually. But I know it pugs my wife to see all the chairs pushed out. It's a small thing I can do that doesn't cost me anything, but I know it is one less thing for her to be upset about. Do the small things. They don't go unnoticed. A few other small things hold hands when falling asleep. Saying goodnight even if we are upset. Or we're arguing. Read the book. The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work A Practical Guide from the Country's Foremost Relationship Expert It's not perfect, but it helps. Also being honest and direct with myself and my partner. Using observe and describe skills and avoid malong judgments when trying to work through something. Try to free ourselves of societal expectations and be clear about what we want from our relationship.